Welcome to the mischief. Oof. I'm Valen. But no worries. I currently have a little something here. Here we go. I have my own little death chest with all the items that I currently had before. That's right. This is going to be a little something about fabric. The new, uh, well, temporary? I don't know if it's permanent or whatnot. Uh, loader for mod loader for uh, Minecraft. It's currently functioning quite well. In fact, just to give you a sample of some of the things that uh, are currently out there, we've got like a not enough wands, which can allow you to uh, kind of teleport around among other things. There's a little zombie friend over there. Oh dear. Um, but not to worry. I can, as before, shoot him with your regular vanilla stuff. Get out of the water. There we go. And of course, you know, we've got things like fence jumper where you can jump on fences. Got some dark utilities running around. Uh, you can also, uh, you know, do things like chop down this tree, get yourself some extra fruit, like perhaps peaches Well, it might, might, might drop from these trees eventually. Uh, and even if not, you got things sitting around, not to worry, you can use your magnet to pick them up. Or even a teleporter. Uh, oh, hey, here we go. To move around into a new area. That's right. I am now in another village. And I can start picking on these guys instead. Just like that. So, this is going to basically show you how to install Fabric Mod Loader and how to install at least some mods or whatnot so that you can start enjoying a little bit of some modded snapshots in Minecraft 114. Minecraft 114. That's right. I said Minecraft 114. This does say snapshot and it does say fabric currently at the bottom left here just so that you understand a little bit better. Uh, now this might work for more things in the future and yes Forge is coming out uh, hopefully soon. It is currently in a testing beta stage so if you haven't already figured that out that means that modding is here and it will be going forward with 114 soon um, if not already which this is what this is about. So let's get into this. First and foremost, this is going to be using Multi-MC. If you have not tried Multi-MC, I highly recommend it. It's a very low weight mod loader for Minecraft. It works very nicely. It doesn't have uh, as uh, an ease of uh, updating ability with mods, but it will allow you to, uh, well, not have much of an impact and a lot more control over your modding interfaces. So right now you can see here I am running this. If you install Multi-MC, and you can either click Add Instance up here or just right-click somewhere in here, you can choose Create Instance. This is what you're going to want to do. Now, typically, it's set default for releases or something like that, so you're going to want to probably, in this case, include snapshots so you can get into the 114. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck in 113. Uh, and then you can choose a snapshot of your liking. In this case, I'm going to choose the most recent one because it's got all the cool villagers and everything, plus, of course, all the update aquatic from 113 as well. Now, don't forget to name it. In this case, I'm going to name this one Demo. But instead of hitting OK, you're going to want to choose Import from Zip. And then you're going to want to get a link. And to find that link, I'm going to show you where to find it. And that is here at https colon slash slash fabricmc.net slash use is what you're going to be looking for. You can choose the version that you want or are planning on running. You can choose your loader version, everything like that. In this case, it's already set to the most recent version and I don't need to worry about it. I just click this button here, copy multi-MC instance URL, and it is copied to my clipboard. I can then go back to multi-MC that I have pulled up here and I can then just paste it into this place. Now when I hit OK, it will instantly install that and it's done. Now that doesn't mean that you can play and you've got tons of mods in there or anything like that. You now have one called Demo, which is what I just called or called that one here, but you will need to add mods to it. To do so, you can right click and you can choose Edit Instance, and then you're going to want to add in Loader Mods. In this case, this is where you're going to want to put mods. If you're not sure what mod or where this is, or you, you don't have something you like multiple monitors or something, you can just click view folder and you can install into that folder much easier. Now, if you go on curse forge and you look here and you see we've got uh, your game version, you can choose the version that you want. In this case, 114 snapshots. You've got all the different types that you can choose. Of course you can pick, you know, we've got fabric magnet, we've got dark utilities, you've got tons of different options in here. Uh, but it, just as a heads up, if it doesn't say that it uses the fabric in here, then you might want to double check by clicking on the mod and sometimes it might say in the details in here. 
just to give it an extra double check because sometimes these are not actually going to work uh, for the fabric loader if it's not designed to. So with that being said, pick the mods that you want to add in that use the fabric loader. And don't forget, most importantly, you still need to install fabric. You, you basically did the, the, um, the, the install section for it, but you need the fabric mod as well. So if you do have questions about it, you can go to the uh, fabricmc.net slash wiki slash install. And you can uh, find the information here about everything that I'm showing you and how to do it. it gives you a really quick down and dirty way of uh, you know installing this. I'm just kind of illustrating this for you guys so you can better understand it. Now once you've downloaded Fabric as well as any other mods that you want to add in, then you can drop them into a folder. Now previously I had this folder is empty here so let's actually copy the mods that I want. You probably will download them, then you'll have to like copy them over. In this case, I'm just going to copy and then I'm going to paste in here. And there we go. Kind of move that over a little bit. There we go. We now have a whole bunch of different mods in here. I'm just using these for an example. Nothing really fancy. And that's pretty much it. It's ready to go. As long as you've got fabric in here and some other mod that you want to run, you just double click and it will start loading. And you can see there it actually had all the different mods in its uh, display showing that they're running. Now this doesn't take minutes for it to load up. It takes less than a minute. It's it's new 114 stuff. They redid a whole bunch of this. There you go. We've got the Mojang symbol coming up and we're loaded. That actually didn't take very long at all. And as before, you can choose single player, multiplayer, etc change your options and video settings, all that. We're going to change music to be off in this case. And in the, just to show you that I do have these installed, we're going to create a new world. Uh, we're going to change it so that uh, everything's on. Default's going to just stay default. Bonus chest, sure, why not? And then we're going to create. Now, loading the world up does still take a little bit of time. That's normal for the current Minecraft setup. So don't feel that, you know, the, the mods are heavily slowing it down or anything. It's just how it's designed. I'm going to enlarge this, and we are now in the game. So you think, all right, great. How can I tell that it's modded? Well, of course, you can go into Creative, Game Mode Creative, and then you can always check in here for something like, because uh, I installed Dark Utilities, we've got Vector Plates. There you go. And you can start using them like you normally would, and they'll start pushing you in different ways. Uh, <laughs> so you can see, rather interesting, uh, having them push weird directions but yeah i mean that's that's pretty much it there's not a lot to it it's very simple very straightforward very fast and there is an increasing number of mods starting to take advantage of the fabric mod loader now is this temporary possibly will you find use of it i hope so if so and you did enjoy this video please be sure to give a like comment subscribe and share the mischief with everybody that you can possibly think of so that we can continue sharing and exploring modern Minecraft and other games. Until next time.